Well hello everyone and welcome to Zombicide Black Plague. I am going to go through the survivor box. Um, <clears throat> well, I don't actually have the box with me because I actually threw the box away because I needed to make space. But this is the, <coughs> sorry, this is the uh, Nade, 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 I think it's, I think it's, that's how you pronounce it, Nade, Nade, um, survivor, survivor box, survivor box, oh my god, I'm so losing my voice today. Uh, okay, so let's get started, shall we? So we start off with, uh, Thundergut, the, the dwarf, he starts with a hammer, just like that, that's quite, uh, interesting and, uh, nice, in fact, uh, fun things you could actually do is, either A, uh, give him a range of weapons, so he's got uh, a nice variety of attacks, or give him another hammer, so he'll uh, use two attacks. I myself don't like doing that though, because I prefer to share the hammers, uh, just because. Anyway, plus one action, so the orange is, <coughs> sorry, uh, plus one die in melee, or reaper melee. Now, I think the plus one die in melee would be much more beneficial than Reaper melee. Only due to the fact that, uh, let's say, if there is one walker and one runner, and you only have one attack, well, the Reaper melee is not going to do anything because that needs to act. When you kill, let's say, a walker, you also get to kill an additional walker if it's in that space. Yeah, sometimes that just doesn't happen, especially when I play. Ugh, well, anyway, I go for the plus one die melee. In the red, you get plus one die melee. <laughs> uh, plus one free combat action. Oh, that's quite good. Or roll six for plus one die melee. The roll six plus one die melee is kind of pointless. The, what are the likely chances of rolling a six just to get an extra melee attack? Well, that's one in six, obviously, duh. Uh, yeah, sometimes that just doesn't happen, so I'd ignore that. The free combat action is actually probably a little bit better than the plus one die melee, especially if you're going to go for the plus one die melee anyway in the orange. That way, yeah, the free combat action would probably be a bit more beneficial than uh, the plus one die melee. I'd, I'd leave that one. It's kind of close. So in this body slot, he can actually have a hammer. So, uh, what can he have in the other well, uh, hands? Well, just <coughs> a ranged weapon, a shield perhaps? Uh, yeah, anything like that. Here is his model. If, it could, if my camera can focus just a little bit, but there you go. So, uh, he's actually practically exactly like his artwork, really. I'd say it's almost a hundred percent. We've got that broken horn there. Uh, his hammer is pointing downwards. He's got a nice little tankard at the back. So you know he's uh, he could be a pretty useful character. Next, we come up with Milo. <laughs> Ah, uh, Milo, good old Milo, you can't go wrong with Milo. I know I can't go wrong with Milo. So, let's find out why I can't go wrong with Milo. He starts off with plus one damage in magic. That's really handy. Good against uh, Fatty straight from the start. I like that. And of course, when you get in the better spells, you could actually deal with A-bombs as well. Say hello to the Inferno. <sighs> Boom. Right, plus one action in here. Slippery or Spellcaster. I myself would go for Spellcaster more than Slippery. Uh, I mean, it just makes, to me, more sense to go with Spellcaster than Slippery. But Slippery is, you know, it's a handy ac um, action. Skill to have just in case. Red. One die in magic. Mm-hmm. Plus one free move action. Maction. Maction. A maction is uh, in between a move and an action. <laughs> Who knew? Not me. Right, anyway, and the next one is hit and run. I would literally go for the plus one dying magic. Absolutely, 100%. Uh, I would probably then go for the free move action. Just so you could keep moving. Or, or just like get into your targets quickly. Especially, like I said, have the uh, relic uh, spell Inferno. Uh, I mean, 
I've actually wiped out so many zombies with just him uh, having Spellcaster and plus one dying magic with Inferno. Uh, you have no idea how much awesome he is just while, while doing that. Well, let's have a look at this Milo. Eh? He's, he's small. He's uh, holding his arms out going like, what? Well, I didn't do anything. He's got a pointy hat. Uh, yeah. I always call him Milo the Little Twerp just because he's small, but he's not really a, a, a little twerp because he is an amazing mage. I like him a lot. Yeah, I still call him a little twerp. Next, we come up with Muriel, and uh, she has plus one die in combat. Oh, okay, so the plus one die in combat can be used for anything range, magic, uh, attacks. So Okay, good all round already. Uh, in orange, uh, plus one free melee action or a spellcaster. So yet again, you have a choice, uh, especially if you're finding, say if you're really a melee type user and you've been finding spells or bows. Well, she doesn't really have one for uh, range, but for spells, yes, and for melee, yes. So that's still good. In her red, she gets Iron Rain, there's the um, range, uh, Mana Range, Range, Mana Rain, oh, that's the magic again, and Shove, which uh, is actually a pretty good um, skill to have, especially in the red. So I myself would probably go for a Spellcaster, it all depends on the survivors that you have. Uh, if you already got a lot of melee uh, type users, you could le easily give her uh, a spell, and I'd go for the spell caster myself, and then go for probably mana rain. Uh, iron rain is good, but it's not that <laughs> great because all she's been gaining is the plus one dying combat. So, shove would be the next best thing. Unless you've uh, actually given her her melee style, then shove would be awesome. And in a body slot, you ha can hold transmutation. Hmm. That's uh, interesting because, like, again, she's uh, an all rounder kind of thing where it comes down to melee and magic. So, I guess the transmutation could be quite good just to ha have around in the body slot. I don't know, hard to tell. Well, this is her model anyway. Uh, yeah, I like her. She's got the uh, bung flail right there. And uh, yeah, she's uh, already, it's like, yeah, yeah. I will kill these zombies, <laughs> eventually. Yeah, anyway, I like the model. Next we come up to Ostakar. And he has Zombie Link. Uh, zombie Link is always quite fun. And uh, being in blue really can help uh, your well, quests quite quickly. That's right from the start anyway. Uh, so he can have plus one free move action. That's pretty good. Spellcaster, which uh, if you're going to make him a uh, spellcaster type person, then uh, I would automatically go for that. In the red, plus one free combat action, that's pretty nice. Plus one dice roll to magic, uh, yes again, that's good, especially if you're going to pick a spellcaster. Hit and run, uh, 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 with zombie link it might not be worth it. Uh, I would probably literally just go for the spellcaster and then plus one dice roll to magic. But the Free combat action is also a nice one to have. He can have a speed scroll. So that's uh, quite nice there. Uh, this is his model. It's 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 really weird. I mean, well, these aren't all that strong, but at the same time, they don't feel as weak as they should be, really. They, they could easily be bent and all that stuff, but it's 
still. It's quite a nice model. It's like almost sinister looking as well. Sinister with chains and the hands. It's almost as if he could be a necromancer. So, Ostaka, the necromancer. Let's begin. So, normal necromancer rolls, of course. Plus, each time he gets an extra activation, all zombies in his zone also get an extra activation. Uh, which is kind of funny because it's just like the same with the survivors. One of, well, Zombie Link. So, there you have it. Yeah, in this box, you get four survivors. And one of them can be a necromancer. That's him right there. So that was the uh, special guest Nyad uh, box survivor box survivor box 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 yes survivor box plus one necromancer. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do I really think of this? Well, I, you saw me uh, talk about Milo quite a bit there and yes I really 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 do like Milo I think he's probably one of my number one guys to go for uh, the others well Muriel is um, not that bad um, it's just like there's not nothing too great about her but at the same time it's not really much bad about her either I mean Iron Ring is just no I just don't bother with that. Whilst Thunderguts, on the other hand, starting with a hammer can help your party significantly, especially when you have, uh, you could ha have about like two hammers, um, uh, spare that is, so you can have three survivors with three hammers. That's good. And his uh, uh, well, sk other skills and abilities, it's like, they're, they're, they're pretty good, you know. Uh, so, uh, an Ostaka, you know, Zombie Link straight from the start, can't go wrong with, and uh, making him more of a spellcaster than other stuff, I mean, yeah, that, that's, that's great. Uh, and having a Necromancer as well, um, it, it is just, well, more fun, you have the Necromancer Cabal, cabal sorry. So. Uh, do I think uh, people should get this? Well, I would say yes. I would recommend getting this. And the characters seem to, quite, to seem to be quite balanced. Milo probably is uh, the most fun out of them. Plus, you're getting another necromancer as well. So that's always a good thing. Ah, uh, and they're they're they're. they're quite they're all uh, a good starters, really. Not nothing too overly um, weak about them. So yeah, I'd 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 literally recommend this one. So uh, that's all I have for this. Thank you very much. Until next time, bye.